professors and university employees of Reddit. What behind the scenes campus drama went on that students never knew about? Professors were purchasing tricked out laptops with their budgets shortly before leaving the university. The university in turn would let the professors purchase the hardware for a song because it was used. We're talking 2000, 3000A, machines being purchased 6 months down the line for 500A. Someone finally caught onto to this scheme and now nobody can purchase the used hardware. I work for a prominent university in Japan. My Japanese colleagues tend to follow all rules very strictly and blindly follow manuals. One day an American professor had to rush to the US to see his dying mother. The staff members of class operations called him as he was grieving asking him to still teach classes and review reports. Obviously. The lack of empathy and inflexibility lead the professor to take his bags and work for another school. Students never knew the true reason why he stopped teaching. My teacher was Syrian. He was practically always at university. Always tired. Always acting off. Would sleep in his office. Would forget to hand back assignments. Would mix up basic things. Cry randomly in the hallway. We later found out his family was being held hostage back home while he was teaching in Canada. Night shift janitor made some really good moonshine. Some of the professors and grad students would leave cash in our top desk drawers when we left work. And the next day. A mason jar of handmade shine would be waiting there. He's since moved on from that department. But was good people. Research fellow at University of Exeter, UK. Here. We recently had all our office bins removed as part of a new policy to try and improve recycling. Got lots of mass emails replying with tons of sass and annoyance. One professor just replied what next? Do you expect us to drive to the local skip? TBH it just really annoying not having a bin in our shared office. The worst part is now everyone brings in their own plastic bags to use as a temporary bin for the day and then we end up having a ton of people trying to get them into one bin that is shared by the floor. Edit. Apologies folks. Completely forgot about our English term skip it's basically a dumpster but we also refer call our local recycling center skips too. Only just now realizing that a syskip is such an odd phrase when you don't know what it means. I worked for the maintenance department one summer while in college. And got exposed to a lot of the drama in that department. Highlights include. The school deciding that they didn't want to deal with the union anymore. So they started hiring for all non-teaching positions as temps. Then firing them after 6 months and rehiring them 30 days later. This was done because temps didn't have to be union. And also because once a large enough percentage of employees were non-union. They could start hiring non-union employees on a permanent basis. The entire third shift cleaning crew, except the team lead, was made up of people with disciplinary issues. This included a man who's been caught multiple times stealing panties and setting up cameras in girls showers. At least once. The girl in question was underage. None of this was ever told to the student so so the head of facilities and planning knew this was an issue and just did checks on all the bathrooms in the building this guy cleaned once or twice a month. I worked at a large university and right before I started. The long time dean of the school went on sabbatical. I didn't think anything of it until two months later when I found out that the university forced him to take time off because he blew almost all of the school's budget on fancy dinners with donors. We're talking like $1000 plus on alcohol heavy meals. Showed up to official university events high off cocaine. And kept a second admin assistant as essentially his SX slave. He had a private bathroom with a shower installed in his office. He sent the school into a major budget crisis and was a PR disaster waiting to happen. It was a huge mess. The acting dean who stepped in got a lot of for how much damage control she had to do. Ultimately he returned a few years later just as a part-time faculty member. But still. Totally wild. One of our male English professors was being stalked by a female student. To the point he had to get a restraining order against her. The only reason my class knew was because she saw him in the hallway. Entered our classroom and made a huge scene the first day of class. 
and security had to be called to make her leave. After that. The door was always locked for that class and whoever was in the back row were scouters to let in late students. He also had to cancel class to go to court for the situation at least once. In the English department. One of the professors got arrested for domestic violence. Divorced his wife. Then got another English professor pregnant and eventually married her. And they all saw each other at department meetings. Super awkward. Edit to clarify. The husband and original wife were both professors. He had an affair with another English professor. Wife found out and there was a major fight. Cops were called. He was arrested for DV but I believe the charges were dropped. He filed for divorce. Moved in with the other professor. Got her pregnant. And he and the ex were still fighting over child support and alimony when I left. I was the pregnant professor's TA. But I was definitely team original wife. Two professors arrested for meth production. One for murdering his wife with lab supplies. Another stepped down quietly for embezzlement. And that's how we replaced half our chemistry department in a year. I'm noticing a trend between chemistry and murder in this post. Grades came out. At that time they were printed. The burst of the device that cut the grade cards up into a mailable format. As a torn belt. We could not in any way get a replacement belt from the manufacturer so we measured how long the belt needed to be. Then we went to an auto parts store and looked at a lot of belts before we settled on one and bought it. It fit the burster and we had all the grade cards mailed that night. When I was going through my PhD program. A buddy of mine put his professor die on him. Young guy. In his 40s. Got hit by a car. Boom. Not so fun fact. When a professor dies. Their grants go away. If a grad student is on the verge of finishing. Just writing up their results. They can sometimes hop to another lab and get by. My friend. However. Was only in his second year. He had to start over with a new project in a new lab. Essentially lost two years of his life on a project that yielded absolutely nothing. Woo. Grad school. So uplifting. In our chemistry department a few years back. A grad student who was failing started poisoning another gradual student they worked with closely by putting carcinogens in their foods and drinks. Colorless. Odorless. Flavorless. Thanks to his chemistry knowledge. He was eventually caught and I'm not sure what happened to him. Thrown out for sure. Perhaps arrested. Another year a grad student pushed another student down a flight of steps to try to kill them. Prominent professor was sleeping with his students. Actually. He met his wife that way. And then had a huge issue with dating other students after getting married. Lawsuits were threatened. He resigned and moved 3000. Edit this was exaggerated by about 2000. Miles away very quickly. No news. No public info released. It was all just known through the GR pavilion of staff. Edit. It was in the Midwest. But it seems this happens at every school based on comments. No. I'm not going to say where. Our heads of department or course directors would purposely keep dragging students. The act of pulling a student through their studies, even though they'd fail most classes. They'd purposely grade the student just above a pass even though the content of work was astonishingly bad because if they left or dropped out it'd look bad on the course's stats and dropout rate. Not to mention the university not getting the student loan money. From there. Of course statistics would be ridiculously high for that particular degree so they'd then sell this to prospective students and parents. This is currently still going on. Source. I'm a lecturer at a university and yes it disgusts me. Edit. I'm a UK based lecturer. Not from the US. You mean. Aside from the normal and fighting between factions. Character assassination carried out in formal language at review promotion tenure committee meetings. Grad student poaching. Running crying to a dean. ETC. My Pi, professor, for grad school had his lab raided by the FBI. This happened long before I joined. Apparently. 
One of his first or second class of grad students in the 80s 90s decided that they wanted to use lab resources to brew some meth. Very easy to do with the equipment we have. From what I am told. This student would stay late in lab after others had left. To get this done. In Breaking Bad style. He fences his drugs to some distributor and thought that was the end of it. The purity of his drugs was enough that they were able to trace it back from the streets to him and the lab. A sting operation shut down the lab. While the dust settled. And my professor was cleared of all wrongdoing. Since none of this was under his direct control. And all campus resources were being misused by the student. State Intelligence Bureau told the professor that it was the largest and purest operation they had seen in the state at this time. I think students would be surprised just how much drama happens. I am talking everything from major drama like lawsuits that universities have kept quiet or EO complaints to colleagues bitching at each other because one thought the other one rolled her eyes at the other one. I just went to a faculty meeting that was so tense and angry that I legitimately wanted to leave the room and it was over a small wording difference of opinion in a policy that literally does not matter because it is departmental and not university wide so it's going to get struck down anyway. Anyway sometimes I am happy to go to class or meet with students in my office because that is the fun part of the job and usually drama free until the last week of classes when everyone starts hustling for a higher grade. I was a grad student in a major university. The department pretty much all loathed one another. And the professors had multiple alliances that were probably more complex than any game of civil play. At one point in time. A group of professors had a line to overthrow the dean. And they were so successful in doing so that the dean wasn't fired. They were demoted to department secretary. It was brutal. I had a colleague who had people on their doc committee get into an argument and refuse to sign off on anything they did. Not because of the quality of the work. But because the professors hated each other. It used to be said of politics on the university campus that it was the worst of all kinds of politics because the stakes were so small. Charles Frankel. Semicolon. Currently it's that head of one of our research institutes and few of his colleagues somehow awarded themselves about 1 million USD each as a bonus. In my country it takes about 70 years of work on AVG salary to get that money. Also the same prof possibly forged some data in paper 10 years ago. Who knows how it's gonna end but sure more dirt is being pulled on other PPL as well. Edit. I'm not disclosing my location nor the names because it is still being investigated. Also to clear some possible confusion. The money stuff is a rumor I heard from multiple sources, they don't know each other. Likely nothing illegal here, no fraud or theft or whatever. They probably just get the money as a end of year bonus they awarded themselves. B. The paper is real deal ATM and is being investigated by ethics committee. C. I'm not personally involved in any of this. I'm at different department. While I am just a grad student, I have a contract with the university and I am university employee, just in case someone says that I'm just grad student. I work at a college in the Midwest. A few years ago, our president very quickly resigned. Turns out his son was growing weed in their basement and was selling out of their house. Whether the president knew or not is still being debated but he still resigned. I had an advanced calculus teacher who'd come into class stoned out of his mind. He'd write down equations on the board from a book. And about 15-20 minutes in. He'd invariably excuse himself and take a bathroom break. He'd then return. Coked out of his mind. And proceed to solve all equations in less than 5 minutes and non-stop monologued about the topic for another 5. Then dismissed the class and stormed out invariably if you actually understood or not. Most students seemed physically stunned and dazed by the whole process. I don't know whether he was a freaking genius or a deranged drug fiend. But I studied in a big university at the time. And recently I heard he was made head teacher of the math department. So I don't know what to think. A few years ago an adjunct lecturer found out his contract was not being renewed. He ate in the corner of his office before turning in his keys. It took a lot of time and a lot of cleaning, along with a new carpet, to get rid of the smell. 
the provost's office recommended a cost-cutting change in scheduling. The chair of the department I was in wrote a memo. Not disagreeing. But only saying that the change would require careful planning to not disrupt the quality of the teaching. And that it may not be possible during the current school year to get the various curriculum changes approved. The provost pitched a hissy fit. And cancelled one of the department's tenure lines. Obviously everybody who was tenured couldn't be gotten rid of. But there were two not yet tenured professors. And the chair had to pick one to fire. As his punishment for not being sufficiently servile. And it wasn't even for anything. Just that the provost gave an order and they didn't snap to attention fast enough for his liking. He didn't care that they'd be getting rid of a good teacher. Or replacing with a bunch of adjuncts at the last minute. He just wanted to make a point. The lady who got fired was one of the best profs in the department. The students loved her. But the other one, also no slouch, had more seniority. I used to be a custodian at a prominent university and one of the TAs in the art department would routinely leave her studio a pigsty and then assured her students not to sweat the mess. We're just giving the janitor something to do. A number of students complained about her sense of entitlement and she was rejected for a professorship for calling me a janitor instead of the proper nomenclature. Custodian. Comma you can easily judge the character of a man by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. Malcolm S. Forbes. Academia sometimes draws ridiculous people. I had a dean once who caused so much turmoil so often by simply denying objective reality when it didn't suit her. I remember spearheading a project to repropose a section of our building. I got the plans and she refused to believe the blueprints on square footage. So I measured it myself. She pretended it wasn't the case. It wasn't large enough to accommodate its new purpose. But according to her it was because in her mind it was 30% larger. I went over her head and ended up in meetings with higher administration trying to get them to understand. They all took her side. She proceeded to make my life hell for the remainder of my time at the university. One professor punched another professor in the face for staying in the classroom a minute over class time with 9 minutes before Professor Punchy's class even started. Both professors are still working in the department and I have no idea how the school kept it quiet. I dated a woman who worked as a professor in a nearby college. After the end of her second year working there. She quit and disappeared from academia completely. Apparently she had lied about her background. Specifically that she had spent time in jail. The college was planning on updating how extensive their background check was and she was gonna be out of a job anyway. Not an employee. But was very close to a professor who spilled a lot of tea. The entire internal structure of my then university was changing to a much more centralized and controlling scheme. All the good lecturers and professors who could find employment elsewhere have left or was in the process of leaving. Everybody hated it. They were the top university and its global rankings slipped from top 50 to outside top 100. Was on a grand jury. One of the deans of a community college was finance officer for some kind of club campus organization that was mothballed but for some reason they never closed out the bank account associated with the organization. She eventually became the preparer and approver for that account and quickly went about paying her condo fees with money that was still being directed to the account. I don't recall why it was still being replenished. She also gave one of her relatives a no-show job tutoring students paid out of the account and they ended up splitting the salary. We sent that one off to trial. She was ed. Suru many professors only have a job because the university really wanted to hire their spouse. Our dean of students was a really fun, charismatic guy. Everyone loved him because he would do awesome speeches at orientation and was super energetic and nice to anyone he met on the street. Literally no one had anything bad to say about this dude. Turns out he's, semi, secretly a raging alcoholic. There was a few month period where he straight up disappeared off the face of the planet during the middle of summer, prime orientation period. He missed a bunch of orientations and the director of orientation did his speeches for him, she was not a good orator. Then rumor went around that he was secretly an alcoholic and the school forced him to go to rehab or he would have been fired. 
they kept it real hush hush to cause this dude has such a pristine reputation among the current students there could have easily been a revolt over his firing. Our last non-interim president had two vice presidents, all male, who all hated each other and it was a constant dick wagging contest between all three, but especially the two VPs. One of the two VPs got fired because he never sent his official college transcripts upon hire. Despite being given over two years to do so. Even after this. We had a dean who did the same thing but quit before he was fired. So now everyone who knows this questions if they actually hold PhDs. Students did find out. But a prof was a cocaine and pot dealer in town. Postal service got him. I bet there's a lot of provosts reading this thread. Not a professor. But one of the students on my senior design team needed some parts 3D printed for our project due at end of semester. The 3D lab technician said that all printers were down in the engineering department wouldn't be providing funds to fix them anytime soon. Well my team member emailed the IN president of the university and cc'd the vice president about his concerns that we weren't being provided with the proper equipment. Two days later our professor tells us that the school is repairing two 3D printers. Ordering five more for the 3D lab and five more to put in the senior design project rooms. Two days after that our parts are on the 3D printer. Next week we have an email sent out to all university students about how to properly address ethical concerns and who to contact depending on your school. That same week all senior design classes do a mandatory ethical training class. Not sure what went down behind the scenes but must have been some wild. Not an employee but a student. My first week on campus some large lad offered me mead, honey alcohol, that he was brewing in his dorm. I declined but two weeks later word spread around campus that someone in that dorm had to go to the hospital because of a bad reaction in the brewer's dorm. Apparently he got some bacteria from something he ingested. Campus PD threw he made coffee in a dirty mug but I got skeptical and reported the brewer. Turns out he wasn't cleaning any of his containers out and just reusing them because alcohol kills bacteria and is what put the student in the hospital. He was expelled and I was thanked for reporting it. But I was also warned about not reporting it when I first heard about it. Moral. Don't lie for idiots. I work at and attend USC. Students aren't aware that some wealthy families are. Dot. NVM. Got nothing. Last year the head of our athletic program announced at a faculty staff meeting that we were building a new gym where the campus pond currently is. Didn't ask for permission or run the idea by anyone else. Just waltzed in and announced that. Went over exactly as well as you'd expect. Crop science professor and several farm workers were breeding marijuana and then having private effects determination groups to test their breeding. They planted several rows of corn around the outside to hide the crop. Kept records on breeding. FBI has that now. I saw a teacher almost in tears because the student reps on the budget committee wanted to save several thousands of dollars a year by discontinuing the delivery of mountain spring water to the faculty buildings. That had drinking fountains. During a budget crisis. That same teacher was one of the ones in support of discontinuing the bus service to the school. Which was way outside of the city it primarily served. And was the cheapest college for more than half a state and served a lot of lower income students who relied on the bus. She was also in support of closing the cafeteria because. And I quote. I don't even eat there. Red faced and emotionally distraught by the suggestion that a single luxury faculty service was maybe unnecessary. In case any of you were curious where all that tuition money goes. The housing and dining databases at the university where I work are all housed on a single Windows XP machine that no one has admin access to. The guy who wrote most of the code passed a few years ago and no one knows how to access the system other than as a user. They have been working for 3 years to get something new in place. But nothing can translate the data in a way they want. And no one seems willing to build new from the ground up. We have north of 20. 000 students. If that system died tomorrow. No one could access their dorms or eat at the dining halls. 
My mum is a lecturer at a uni one of her colleagues is being stalked by a student. This was around 1987 well you know when a student gets caught for using drugs or alcohol? Well. We gave it to the cops for investigation or something like that. I work at the archives of a university. The archive consists of multiple collections throughout the country. Recently the person who restored she found out through me that old books from the 1500s are and stored correctly and she got super red off about it. Also. Archives seem to have a logical way of storing books. But it's chaos and there's mostly one person walking around that knows where what is. But if they would leave. No one knows how to find anything. This way. We found out that apparently we have several dissertations by Einstein in the collection. But no one knew this until someone randomly happened to notice it. My mom is a college professor. Latest gossip is that one of the deans is hiring informants amongst the students to find out why she is so universally disliked. Like market research. But pettier and creepier.